Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here today. We are Thong Nguyen and Han Nguyen. On behalf of my co-author, I would like to share our action research on teaching English pronunciation using English songs in EFL classrooms. The overview of the presentation includes the introduction with the background and the aims, then the related literature review and the action research designs as methodologies and findings, discussion and conclusion recommendations. Based on the fact that those students have the same copies in English music song listening and they also have difficulties in English pronunciation learning. So the researcher decided to conduct this study. The main aim of the study is to identify an effective technique in deploying English songs in teaching English pronunciation in EFL classrooms in Long An Province, Mekong Delta regions in the south of Vietnam. Due to the limitation in time and resources, including finance and human resources, the study was carried out at the researchers, Ms. Toss, EFL classrooms in Long An, Mekong Delta region, Vietnam. Now, let's cover some English pronunciation, musical characteristics, and the teaching English pronunciation by using English songs, techniques, and more. According to Peter Rose, English pronunciation can be improved by practicing sound, rhythm, fit, tonal unit, and more. Those characteristics are similar to musical characteristics like the tempo, the beats, and the tempo. In teaching English pronunciation, we can use the analytic linguistic approach, intuitive imitative approach, and integrative approach. Those can be associated with other language teaching methods. As for research designs, we chose action research. This is the type of research study which is more action oriented in order to solve an immediate problem. We plan, we act, we revise, reflect, and we recycle the process. Based on the previous sections, two research questions are formulated. One, how do English songs have to increase the effects of teaching English pronunciation in EFL classrooms? Two, what are the perceptions of students when they are taught English pronunciation using English songs? 120 high school students around uh, 18 years old are invited to respond to the surveys with five point Likert scales designs and 30 of them are interviewed in the follow-up section. We deploy the quality research design action research so the instruments are uh, questionnaires for the surveys with uh, five point Likert scale designs and the follow up interview for one third of the participant. Regarding data analysis, we use statistical analysis for the questionnaires uh, results analysis. And in order to analyze the interview, we use content analysis and thematic network analysis. The results from the responses uh, shows the, that 100% of the participants agree that the using of English songs in English pronunciation, learning and teachings is effective 
with the percentage of each aspect as follows. The main findings of this action research can be summarized that learning English pronunciation with English songs is effective. Students improve the rhythm and gain accuracy in pronunciation of the tonic unit of the utterance, which helps them speak confidently to some extent. As the participants share their perception upon the improvement of English pronunciations when they were tasked with English songs, the improvement aspect focused on English rhythm, feet, tonal units, connect, speak, the sounds. Also, some uh, participants mentioned the improvement of listening skills. Those results and finding totally align with the literature review. Based on the results of findings, we can conclude that using English songs in teaching English pronunciation is effective, especially with the intuitive imitative approach as in this action research study, and the improvement of English pronunciations focus on various aspects, such as sound, freedom, connected speech, and etc. And we have some pedagogical recommendations for our peers. First, we can use songs with the right tempo and beat, uh, not too fast, not too slow. Then we can raise awareness of students on English rhythm, tonal, unit, fit, etc. And then practice and inspire students to practice by themselves with the songs. And these are some key references we have read through in order to conduct this research. So that's the wrap up of our presentation. Thank you. And please send us any comment, suggestion, or correction you may have. Your insight would be much appreciated. Again, we are Tuan Wing and Han Wing. Come up some